hi friends in this video we are going to see how to uh, make a console session uh, from a PC uh, to a switch uh, or a router so that we can access the uh, iOS of those uh, devices here we can see our Cisco packet tracer and here we are going to use a PC here we can see uh, enter devices and here is enter devices and here we can see PC we will uh, click on this and come into the workspace uh, we will click here and so that we can see uh, this uh, PC I mean the desktop here first of all we will console from uh, this PC 0 to a switch here we can see network devices and the different network devices such as router switches hubs wireless devices etc and here we can see switches and here we will select this uh, 2960 series we will click on this and come to the workspace here is our switch here we can uh, rename these devices uh, these labels here i will give a pc hyphen a and this we will consider as uh, yes one now we will connect this uh, switch s1 yes uh, to this uh, pca using a console cable so that we can uh, perform uh, the basic configurations on this uh, switch s1 yes now we will go to the connections so here we can see connections we will click on this coming to connections and here we can see console cable so it shows here console we will click on this now we will uh, click on this PCA and here we can see a pop-up window now we will connect to RS232 we will uh, click on this RS232 now we will uh, mouse over to S1 and we will uh, click on S1 and here we are going to connect to the console port so here itself we can see console Now we will be able to access the iOS of this device S1 uh, using this PCA. Uh, here uh, we have to use uh, some terminal emulation software. But in packet tracer, uh, here we can see coming to PC-A. Here we can see a tab named desktop. And here we can see something called a terminal. So we will click on this terminal. Here we can see the port configuration bits per second 9600 data bits 8 parity none stop bits 1 flow control none these are the uh, default port configuration here now we will click on ok now here we can see we are in the switch yes one Here we can see press return to get started so we will press enter here here we can see the prompt switch greater than so now we are in this uh, switch s1 yes now we accessed the ios of our switch s1 now we can do the required configuration on the switch s1 here we can see now we are in uh, user exit mode we can go to each mode for example here I am going to give enable and now here we can see we are in privileged exit mode okay we will uh, see the different uh, iOS modes uh, in another video now we will close this uh, PCA in the same way we can connect a router also uh, here we are going to uh, use a desktop PC then coming to network devices so here we can see routers and uh, here we are going to use any one router we will use a 2911 now we are going to uh, connections and here we can see a blue color cable uh, this is console we will uh, select this console we will uh, click on PC1 then we will connect to RS232 uh, serial port coming to this uh, router we will click on this uh, router then uh, we can see console we will connect uh, to this console now we can access this uh, uh, router iOS uh, using this uh, PC1 terminal so coming to PC1 
desktop here we can see terminal we will leave the support configuration uh, as default and we will press ok and here we can see now we are in this ruler now here we get a system configuration dialog would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog so as per our requirements so we can give that suppose here I am going to give no and we are going to press enter and here we can see press return to get started so we are going to press again enter now here we can see we are in a user exit mode of this router okay uh, in this video we have seen how to establish a console uh, connection uh, from a network device uh, to a pc and finally we accessed the ios of those uh, network devices so that's all in this video friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below consider subscribing also consider a great support from you all we will meet again with the next video thank you